It's time for an Up TV Merry Movie Christmas preview on the Must Watch Show. Coming up, David Pinard stops by. Lee Allen Baker, she is also here. And Erin Agostino, she joins us as well. The Christmas celebration starts right now. Welcome to the Must Watch Show. I'm Noah Wilson, and look at our incredible holiday set. It looks amazing, but thank you so much for taking time to watch us all month long in November and December. We will bring you a first look at the holiday movies premiering on Up TV this holiday season. This weekend, you can catch Unperfect Christmas Wish, Christmas Masquerade, and Christmas in the Pines. First up, let's give you a preview of Unperfect Christmas Wish, starring David Pinard. I think he's gonna propose. <laughs> propose? Propose what, a plan for world peace? Wow, are you really not following? Maddie, you've been dating Luke for six months, half of which has been long distance. I know, but my parents only knew each other for, for two, two months, months before, before my, my dad, dad proposed. proposed. Yeah. I know. And I met Luke in the exact booth, in the exact same coffee shop where my parents met. Coop, it has to be a sign. Maddie, you've been looking for magical signs and chasing love at first sight ever since high school, and it never works out well. Not everyone is as lucky as your parents. Life's a lot more complicated now. It doesn't have to be. You know, just because he checks all the right boxes doesn't mean he's your person. He's a good guy, Coop. So, what do you think? I think Luke is the luckiest man in the world. Everyone, please welcome David Pinar to the show this morning. Happy holidays. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Nice to have you on the show on virtual, on Zoom. I think this is what we're all continuing to do is Zoom right on over to Zoom, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? I am doing lovely. I'm uh, I'm over here in Toronto, so um, it's always quite cold here. So it's basically always Christmas here. You know, I'm always in the holiday yeah. spirit. Let's go ahead and talk about your movie titled Unperfect Christmas Wish. So Madison and Cooper, which you play Cooper in the movie, they have been longtime friends since they were kids. But 20 years later, Maddie performs as a singing elf for events and has a little help from your character, Cooper. Can you talk to us more about the storyline and what attracted you to this specific holiday movie? Uh, I think you know, it's actually one of the favorite roles that I've, I've been able to do in my career um, because there's so much of me in it. Uh, I, yeah. I grew up you know, playing guitar and uh, I, I'm pretty sure everybody's kind of had somebody growing up that they've had a little crush on, but uh, they don't tell them because once you get into that super, super deep friend zone, you don't want to lose that friendship. So. I think it's a very relatable story. And um, yeah, it's a little piece of me is in there for sure. One of my favorite moments from this movie was when Santa was speaking to Madison and they were sitting uh, on like a bench outside in this magical Christmas wonderland. And Santa said to Madison that being a little unperfect can be perfectly perfect. And I'm like, that is so true. I think that I wish we all thought like that because I think it's an important message we should be teaching our young kids versus looking through a camera lens, thinking everyone's lives on social media are perfect because it's not. Social media is fake. Now, would you agree with that, David? And what would you like to add to that about that particular scene? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the maybe the biggest issues that youth have to deal with. Uh, I'm 33 mm -hmm. and didn't have social media when I was younger. So yeah. I wasn't constantly comparing myself to all the uh, filters that were on the Internet. Um, and yeah, I mean, even the, being in the acting world uh, for a very long time, I, I go into audition rooms and see other, in my eyes, perfect guys that I'm auditioning for and being like, there's no way they're going to choose me over these people. But um, you always just got to know you, you're your biggest supporter. So you got to believe in yourself. And uh, it is such a great message that, um, you know, that definitely needs to be shared. And I think uh, a lot of it comes from the people you surround yourself with. Uh, hopefully they're saying nice things to keep that self-esteem going high. Now, David, we must talk about the musical numbers that were featured in this movie. A couple of songs that you and your co-star did, it made me want to get up off the couch and start dancing. But how is it like to actually use your voice and sing in this Christmas movie? Because sometimes that really hardly ever happens. Yeah, uh, I, I, I took a risk on this audition. I remember auditioning for it and I was like, okay, this is, is very similar to me. I read the script. 
And yeah. uh, at the end of my audition, I ended up writing a song that's in the movie. It's called The Same As Me that I was like, oh, I think this would fit so much. So normally in the audition world, don't add stuff to your auditions. But <laughs> I decided to just say, you know, I, I read the script. I think this song would be perfect. They ended up liking it and using it in the film, which is a very rare thing. But I'm very thankful that happened. And as well as uh, going into the studio with Elise Crocker, who plays Maddie, she's actually not really saying much in her life before. And I thought she did such an amazing job. So uh, it was really lovely working with her. Well, we got to all tune in Friday, November the 4th for Unperfect Christmas Wish, premiering at 7 p.m. Eastern Center Time Pacific on Up TV, part of Up TV's most uplifting Christmas ever. David Pinard, thank you so much for a great holiday conversation. Thank you so much and uh, have an uplifting Christmas. Thank you so much, David, for that delightful conversation. When we come back, we have a visit from Erin Agostino to speak about her holiday movie. Grab the eggnog and come right on back. Back for our next guest is storing an Up TV's holiday movie, Christmas Masquerade, premiering Sunday, November 6th at 7 p.m. Here's a sneak peek at her movie. Take a look. Excuse me. Hi. Would you mind taking a photo? Uh, sure. <laughs> Here you go. I didn't, I didn't have time to pose. Oh, no, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, would, you, would you call this a good photo? <laughs> no. All right, well, if you're going to say yes to a job, you should at least try to do it well. Oh, uh, well, you only asked me to take a photo, not a good photo. Oh, so it's your policy to do the bare minimum. What's that supposed to mean? I don't even have both my eyes open. Well, that can't be blamed on the photographer now, can it? I think it can. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, well, agree to disagree, but I'm willing to give you a second chance. What generosity. Huh. Uh, okay, uh, you ready? Everyone, it's time for another Up TV, the most uplifting Christmas ever with Up TV. Erin Agostino, she's here to talk about her new movie, Christmas Masquerade. Hello, Erin. Welcome. Hello. To Thank you. It's great How to be By the way, it looks like we're matching. Uh, I, we called each other up and said we were going to wear this today, you know? So <laughs> like We obviously planned color. this. We planned this weeks in advance. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started. So, Aaron, before we get to talking about your movie now, tell us what does Christmas mean to you and how are you going to celebrate this year? Oh, well, Christmas has always been super important in my family. Um, we... I, I don't, I'm from Montreal, Quebec, and I live in Toronto, so I always go back, back home, and the whole family gets together, and um, I have a little niece now, so we get to do all the little traditions that we were doing as kids mm. for her, and leaving out the cookies, and just getting to relive that magic through my little niece is, is really special, but um, it just means getting together with family, and um a time where everything kind of just stops and there's just that like magic feeling in the air. Like I'm a big Christmas fan. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. Oh <laughs> yes. Well, that is so true. I think yeah. we all become a little bit more kind or around Christmas, which it should happen all day, every day, not just Christmas as the holiday, but I love the holiday season. I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays and I can tell it's yours as well. And oh. I, always feel so sad when it's over I'm like oh no you know especially when Christmas uh day uh like around the evening time around 10 or 11 o'clock when you know everything's winding down and you the next day is gonna be another ordinary day like, yeah oh I hate that it's gonna end <laughs> I know and then there's that weird time between Christmas and New Year's where it's just like time doesn't exist <laughs> yeah no one right. but day oh, it is <laughs> my tree up at least until new year's eve or new year's day probably till like new year's day because i hate they just even think about the thought of taking it down even though they say that's bad luck but i don't know if that's bad luck i haven't had any bad luck so i'm like i don't know well let's talk about christmas masquerade so what attracted you to this character after reading and getting to learn more about her tell us the character you play 
I play Julianne, um, who is a single mother um, who is just trying to make it work and is working for her best friend as her assistant. Even though she went to fashion college and she had all these dreams, she just wants to make ends meet and basically put her daughter first before her passions in life. And um, and Julianne is like a really special character. When I read the script, it, it's actually my first time playing a mom and I, I'm not one yet. And so I felt a lot of weight on my shoulders. Like I, re I really wanted to do that justice um mm -hmm. and she's just like a complicated person she she complains about her kid she doesn't glamorize it she she's like hey like life's hard but we make it work and it's worth it and rewarding and um she unfortunately gets herself into a little sticky situation and mm -hmm. goes along with it i would like i think i compare this story a little bit to cinderella <laughs> <laughs> yes because Gosh. it's like of a of a fairy tale you know totally, totally. Because she dreams of living in a fairy tale yeah exactly and um this character michael mistakens her for her the the friend that she's working for and uh, she kind of just goes along with it until mm -hmm. well, she can't anymore now, Erin, we all dream of living in a fairy tale because everything seems so magical. It seems like a beautiful place to go to. But what lesson does this movie really teach others that you hope it will teach and share with other young girls out there? I just find that, and it's a lesson that, I mean, I'm, I still try to learn every day that is just mm -hmm. the most special person you can be is yourself because no one is like you in this world. and just to own that and be proud of that. And you'll see what you can attract. You'll see what, like from everything. Yes, yeah, sure, relationships, but job opportunities. And, uh, you know, for me, for my acting, when I just kind of let go of trying to be that thing that I thought everyone wanted me to be and just was like, well, no one's Aaron. So why don't I just try that? It just kind of clicked. So be comfortable in your own skin. I know that's easier said than done but uh i think that that's the the big message here with christmas masquerade mm -hmm. everyone's got to catch the premiere of aaron's new movie christmas masquerade sunday november 6th at 7 p.m eastern center time pacific on up tv part of up tv's most uplifting christmas ever right here <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, thank you so much you were such a treat and thank you for joining us and you were just amazing my friend thank you for your time my pleasure. Thanks for having me. It was so much fun. I just adore Aaron. Thank you so much for the great conversation. Up next, my friend Lee Allen Baker. She is here. Don't miss this. Time for another Up TV, the most uplifting Christmas ever interview. And today joining me is Lee Allen Baker for Christmas in the Pines, the Up TV premiere. Take a look at a clip. In the movie, here are these two families, and each of our children thinks that they are now the proud new owner of this cottage. Both offers were accepted. What do you mean? Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Whichever one of you leave the property first forfeits your right to it. This is one of the most unique scripts, and the comedy played so well, and it's perfect. Is Dad still there? Hey, son. You are never going to believe this. I'm going to need you guys to help me like, hey. wear her down. Here we go, guys. So on this film, I get to work with my wife. We've actually prayed that we were able to do like a romantic comedy together. It was special getting to share moments, especially since it's a movie that we both liked and we wanted to make it perfect. That was a clip of Lee Allen Baker. She joins us once again on our show. Hello, Lee Allen Baker. I like Lee Allen Baker. Just Lee. It flows, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Oh, great. Oh my goodness, look at us in our Christmas pajamas, you know. Tis the season. <laughs> and by the way, can you believe how quick everyone is rushing into the season this year? Like what? Like Christmas yes. shopping started in August and everyone wanted a Christmas trees in July. I was like, what? We haven't even got to Halloween or fall. <laughs> That's right. And here's why my kids are like, why is that mom? And now I'm always that way. Look, I end Halloween night. Everyone's like, happy yeah. Halloween. And I say, Merry Christmas. I'm moving <laughs> on, We're marching into the season. But I think everyone 
needs a little, I've told my kids, I said, it's like that song. Well, we need a little Christmas right this very yes. minute. Everyone wants to be joyous and happy and loving and hope filled. Mm -hmm. And that is what this season brings with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about Christmas in the Pines. It was one of my favorite movies. I watched it last year and it was so good. This is the type of movie that's not that sappy like type love story. It really is, you know, about family coming together, knowing what's important around the, the Christmas season. Um, so I'm so happy that Up TV, they're bringing this wonderful movie to their audience. Can you talk with us about it and tell us more what this holiday movie is about? So this movie, Christmas in the Pines, is where um, my daughter has bought a kind of a, a sweet, perfect, picturesque home in yeah. the pines where, you know, it will be snowing and Christmas will be perfect. Mm -hmm. And it turns out another person has purchased this as well, who happens to be a really good looking guy. Imagine that. And, and it's they, her husband in real life. And it is her husband in real life. Mm -hmm. So they both show up to claim the house and then there's all these property right disputes and anyone they decide who leaves the property first loses their rights to the property. So both invite their families there. And well, the families just get along great and just have a wonderful time. So it is a really sweet, fun, and it's a romantic comedy in the fact that it's, but it's not just the couple. It's, I think it's sweet with the families and yeah. it's just so clever and fun. And they just did really good little editing tricks with the music and it's just a sweet movie. I think it was one of your best. I just loved it. It was such a great holiday movie. And I was so happy to see you come back and do a holiday Christmas movie because I remember when you did the Good Luck Charlie Christmas movie. And that was hilarious. That was a crazy, wild adventure that we saw you and Bridget Millen go on. And and if you haven't seen that one, everyone, you got to go watch it. It's still on Disney Plus, so you can go watch it. Even pick up a DVD copy. I want to get a DVD copy. That's what I want. You know, so, some of the movies that I really enjoy, I like to actually own them, like on a DVD. Yeah versus just having them on streaming. I'm still, I guess, old school, you know, for that. But in the movie, you actually play Amy, and you also played Amy in Good Luck Charlie. What a coinka I day. play Amy so many times, it's not even funny. It's, I, yeah, I play Amy a lot. Isn't that interesting? You are a perfect Amy, aren't you, Lee <laughs> Allen? You know? I'm and I respond to it now because so many people go, Amy Duncan. So now I just, if someone says Amy, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I could see like the similarity between Amy Duncan and you in real life. Like, it's just, I think that character is you, you know? It is because what happens in a really good sitcom, and these are the ones that are really successful, is you have such an amazing team of writers. And, mm -hmm. and there was an amazing team of network veteran writers on Good Luck Charlie. And what they do is once they get to know you, they may start with a character but that's the beauty of the sitcom is that you have an opportunity to shape it throughout the years. It's not just a one shot deal. So your writers tend to then start writing for you and towards you and letting you put your personality into it. So there's a lot of similarities. I feel like I'm a cross between Amy Duncan and Good Luck Charlie and Liz and Bad Hair Day. I feel like I really walk the line of those two characters. That was another great movie. That was hilarious. And just all the things that would happen to the two of you was like, what? Like, I'm sure, I mean, that, I'm sure there were so many laughs on set for that project. But now how different of a role was this for you as you also, you know, play a mother in the movie that you played a mother in Good Luck Charlie as well, but you play Amy and a mom in Christmas in the Pines. So it was really different in the fact that this is the first time that I've played the mother of an older, mature child. I mean, I'm yes. usually like, what? I am I have babies. Like, even my own kids are 10 and, and 13, you know? Yes, so and she was like in her mom. 20s or 30s. Yes, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, that's when you realize, you know, you really do start looking old. You know, that's when you realize, oh, I do look my age. I'm playing her mom, you know? Yes. Turning 50 was tough. It was no joke. Well, you don't look 50. You look Thank 40, you. you know, so... You. 10 years younger. I yeah. love it. I love it. I should, <laughs> people, I should start telling people turning 60 was rough and they'll be like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. <laughs> turning well, 87 was hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I had Jillian and Dean on last year. They were so much fun. How was it like to, you know, to get to work with them and get to know them as they seem like such genuine people? They seem really sweet and such a nice, loving couple as well. I absolutely 
love them. I think they are, <laughs> they are such good friends and. And they um, love you. They talk so highly about you when I interviewed them last year. They're so, we had such a wonderful, amazing time. I mean, we couldn't stop laughing. Every single, we were annoying to people at some point because they were like, hi, we have a movie to shoot. Can we stop laughing and giggling behind the scenes and get some work done? And we were like, you know, (laughs) so like they had us, we kept laughing because they had us where, have you ever seen the Z shield? I don't think so. Did I talk about this with you? I don't think you did. So it was, we filmed this in COVID time. Oh, the, oh, the, like the shield that. Yes. But if you can't mess your face up, so you can't put it touching your face. So a Z shield goes around your neck and comes down here. And then it's got like a window that goes up and down. It does nothing. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And it got to the point where I was like, I'm not wearing this because I feel like I'm going to run into a window. <laughs> like, yeah. I kept walking around like this because it's like in your face. <laughs> no, how was it like to wear that? I'm su- I'm surprised you had to wear, I, I mean, I guess you ha- y'all had to wear those. Then, yeah. Well, I, did wear it. I just would say, they would say, please put it on. And I'd say, no, thank you. And walk along myself. And then oh. everybody in the cast would start dying laughing, you know? <laughs> um <laughs> Um, it was, but you know, everyone was, no one was afraid. No one was sick. Everyone was healthy. Everyone was friendly. Everyone always hugged, shook hands, said hello. We're working in close quarters, but they were told they had protocols to follow. Mm. But what do you do when you got one little rogue actress who just didn't go and do it? You know? (laughs) Yeah. You know? You can't throw Lee Allen out. How dare you? You know, exactly. Lee Allen and the Bill, elder Jillian abuse. made it. <laughs> elder abuse. That's right, Lee Allen. That would be elder <laughs> abuse. How dare they do that? It was such a great cast. I think they really casted the right people for this. And I like that this movie, you know, really teaches a valuable lesson to others that Christmas is not about, you know, receiving gifts. It's about spending time with family, making holiday memories. Would you agree with that? Yes, it is. That is exactly what it's about. It's about sitting around. Remember that time we made this crappy ornament that's on the tree and (laughs) it becomes so precious to you, you know, because it has so much love in it and so many memories attached to it. Mm -hmm. And so I just think that it's just a sweet, sweet celebration of the hope of the season and the joy of family. And I really think that people need to see that right now because I'm really disappointed in the fact that families have been torn apart. Do not let COVID or any virus or any government or any political views tear your family apart. Mm-hmm. It's just so sad to me. Yeah. Well, everyone's got to tune in and watch Christmas in the Pines Saturday, November the 5th, this weekend at 7 p.m. And I, by the way, I like that UpTV puts their movies at 7 o'clock so then the kids can enjoy and watch them before they have to go to bed, you know, because... Kids can't stay up till 10 o'clock watching movies like that. You know, young little kids. You know? <laughs> well, Leon Baker, thank you so much for joining us on our show. You have a great and happy holiday and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Noah. I love you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you all so much for watching today. Be sure to go watch all three holiday movies premiering this weekend on UpTV, part of their most uplifting Christmas ever. And we will see you back here next time for more Christmas movie previews. Bye-bye.